everybody, QuestWise here. I'm in the Thunder Tank today. Heading to my friendly local game store. I thought I'd take you along, at least for the journey any portion anyway. Um, killed two birds with one stone. I needed to film something unique today, but I uh, was going to be out of the house for a little bit, so I thought, what the hell, I'll bring my tripod along with me and um, I'll bring you along on this journey. So... Hopefully the car's not too loud. I call her the Thunder Tank. She's kind of a gold minivan, but she sounds like the Thunder Tank. I do have a Thundercat sticker on the back of her to denote her as such. But uh, anyhow, we're on our way to a friendly local game store. It's TC Paintball slash TC War Room here in Traverse City. And I thought I'd talk about, since we're traveling, uh, I would talk about things you should and shouldn't do if you have to travel somewhere outside of your home or your normal location uh, to go gaming. Uh, a couple things that you should be aware of. And, um, oops. Just a couple things that you should be aware of and safety tips maybe you should take. Number one, don't film yourself while driving, folks. Uh, <laughs> Probably the worst idea I've ever had. It's, although maybe the best, it's made me hyper aware of what I'm doing, uh, where I'm going, and every person around me. But um, I guess one of the first things that you should know, first things you should do when you're traveling to a new location for a game is make sure you know where you're going. You know, and in today's world, it's easy enough to get on Google Maps or any kind of a website type service to find out where it is you're going. But if you're playing with a new group and you've never been to the location that they want to play at, it's always best to know exactly where you're going. Um, and even some of these, you know, online services can be a little sketch sometimes. Um, you know, I've, I've played with a group before where they've, um, you know, they've told me, hey, the, the address is such and such. 23, 70, whatever. And when I put it in the Google Maps and I'm doing the directions thing, I get there. You know, I'm on a main road and it says, you know, such and such is on your left destination. There's 12 different things there. Uh, you know, just make sure. Make sure you get your when you when you're talking to the person with some place you've never been before. Make sure that you you get concrete directions like, you know, it's the greenhouse, it's the blue apartment building, it's, you know, the third door, whatever. Just make sure you know where you're going. And it's not, that's just to save you some time as well as some safety, you know, time that you, you waste your trying to drive around, just, especially if you're kind of maybe running late a little bit. Um, you know, there's nothing worse than sort of getting lost while you're on your way to a game and then, uh, you know, delaying the game. Uh, not only does it set a bad first impression if you're a game master, um, but it also is, um, you know, it sucks to have to lose time because you're lost uh, playing a game or running a game. Second of all, I live in a, I live in the biggest city in my area. I would say the northern tip of Lower Peninsula, in Michigan, but it's by no means a big city. Um, you know, it's not a Chicago, it's not a Detroit, it's not a New York. Um, but it's, it's fairly big, and even though I've lived here most of my life, uh, there's still places that I don't know very well. And as a safety measure, you just kind of want to know where you're going, what kind of a place you're headed into, especially if you're in a bigger city like Chicago or, or Detroit. You want to know what the location is, the place that you're headed to, uh, just so you can take precautions. Also, uh, I would advise um, while you're traveling to, you know, Make sure you have plenty of gas. Again, if you're traveling someplace you've never been before and you do get lost, you don't want to run out of gas as well, too. Make sure you have all your supplies with you. I have another video, if you want to check back in the timeline there, of um, things that you should take with you to a convention for a Game Master. I think a lot of those apply to a Game Master no matter where you're headed. Um, you know, things like making sure you have dice, extra dice, uh, you know, all your preparations and stuff. Uh, it might not just be a convention you're headed to, but, you know, bring snacks as long, along with you as well, too. You don't know, you know, unless they say food's provided, but then again, sometimes if you have food allergies or something like that, 
and you get to a location and they're having the one thing that you're allergic to, you know, maybe you have a seafood buffet uh, with nothing but shellfish on it, um, that can really hamper your style for the evening. So make sure you bring snacks and stuff. Make sure you bring uh, drinks of your choice, you know, you bring water. Um, always bring water with you. Uh, I think that's just a safe bet anywhere, no matter where you go. I have a Yeti, a uh, small Yeti container that keeps water cold for you know hours and hours and hours. And I just bring that with me everywhere I go because uh, you always want to be hydrated, especially if you're running a game. Uh, you're going to be you're going to be talking a lot. You're going to want a lot of water with you and stuff as well too. So wet your throat and such. Um, our journey to the, the friendly local game store here is not very long. I'm about uh, three quarters of the way there already. Um, luckily, I live pretty close. But again, uh, like I said, the, the city I live in is not gigantic. And uh, I'm actually taking a back road to get to this place so that I can avoid some of the traffic and stuff. There's been a lot of construction lately as well, too. So again, that's another thing, too, if you're traveling. Make sure you know, make sure you know if there's construction along the way. They can delay you or, or reroute you someplace you might not know. Um, what else? Well, make sure you know the weather conditions. Especially here. I mean, it might not apply to a lot of folks who are further south. Um, but, you know, here in northern Michigan, it can get pretty nasty in the wintertime. And it can get pretty nasty pretty quickly. So, you want to make sure you know what the weather forecast is. If you're in a region that that kind of stuff happens. Uh, in the winter time here, we can go from, you know, today's a beautiful sunny day, as you can see through the window there, uh, and there's no, there's no threat of any, any major weather conditions today, maybe some rain later, but, um, you can see some dark clouds in the, in the, in the far off to the, uh, I guess it would be the east over here, but, um, but in the winter time here in northern Michigan, it can get really brutal really fast with snow snowstorms and uh you know within an hour it could really destroy some of your major travel routes so you want to be careful of that kind of stuff you want to know what the weather forecast is you know oh big truck Ugh, really big truck um so know that know that in advance don't be afraid to cancel a game if the weather looks really horrible you know the safety of you and your players is more important than getting a game off um, there will always be more time to game later. Um, don't don't put your safety at risk. So I guess that would be my number one tip today uh, as far as, as traveling to a game. So don't put your safety at risk. Sorry, making the corner here. The giant corn truck next to me. Uh, yes, that's the kind of situation I live in, that we have giant corn trucks that are turning. Uh, at the film, time of this filming of this video, it's just before Halloween. In fact, Halloween's about three days away, so we're in our fall months. It's beautiful out today. It's probably high 50s, low 60s, so, you know, my travel is not going to be hampered by too much bad weather, but um, a lot of traffic because there's a lot of color tour people that are up. Uh, looking for the trees changing colors as well as a lot of um, Halloween type celebrations going on corn mazes and haunted houses and stuff so our destination is up here on the left we're just about to pull into TC paintball TC war room so I will let you go but uh, I hope you've enjoyed the short little travel video just a little bit of an experiment to see how this kind of thing goes uh, but until next time everybody I'm quest wise and I'm out